Hey everyone, it's Shannon Rose with another top tip in Topaz Studio presented by Topaz Labs. In today's tutorial, we're going to look into an effect we've been getting a lot of questions about, and honestly, it had us scratching our heads for a while. This image was inspired by at Lizzie underscore P underscore on Instagram and Jammy Jam off of our Facebook group. Lizzie P kindly sent me a more in-depth explanation of her work, so expect another tutorial later explaining a more advanced version of this technique, but for now, we're going to do a short and sweet version. We're going to start with an image of delicate roses in a vase. The background seems extremely rough in comparison to the flowers. It seems to drown them out to the point that you almost lose how delicate the roses are and completely miss the rose petals at the bottom. We're going to soften the background and give the entire image a soft pastel-like, almost impressionistic style while accentuating the flower's colors and bringing out the petals at the bottom. We'll be doing all of this with a single pre-save effect called Pastel 2, two adjustments, precision detail and bloom, and controlling each with masks and opacity. Let's go ahead and get started. After opening your image by either dragging and dropping directly into Topaz Studio or selecting the Open button on the middle of the screen, open the Effect panel on the side of the screen. This panel allows you to select from a variety of pre-saved effects created not just by the team at Topaz Labs, but also by the artist community of Topaz users. We're going into the Impression drop-down and select Charcoal and Pastel. Scroll down the list until you see Pastel 2. Click this effect and it will be automatically applied to your image. Now we need to personalize this just a bit to bring out the flower's detail while still keeping them soft and delicate. We're not going to change any of the settings, but we're going to play with the mask tool. Click the mask icon, the white square between the adjustment name and the eyeball icon, which will open up the mask section options. Click the brush tool and make sure the black box below is selected. Now mask out all of the roses except the pink bud in the background. Make sure you get all of the leaves as well, and don't forget the petals on the floor. After you're done masking everything out, hold on, we're not done with this mask yet. Go to the hamburger menu, which is between the invert tool and the reset mask tool, and select copy mask. We're about to edit this mask to bring through the softness of the impression adjustment, but we need the original mask for a later adjustment, so we'll copy it so we have it for later use. After copying the mask, click the Adjust button. It looks like three gears at the bottom of the masking section to reveal a hidden menu that allows you to control certain aspects of how your mask is applied. Feather softens the edges of your mask. Expand Mask brings the edges of your mask in or expands them to cover more of the image than previously selected. Contrast controls the difference of lightness or darkness of the mask in relation to the background, while density controls the depth of lightness or darkness within the mask. We're going to control the density on this occasion and set it to 0.54, then click Done. Now we're going to move on to the next adjustment. Go to Adjustments and select Precision Detail. This is one of my favorite adjustments in Topaz Studio and I literally use it on everything. I'll be explaining each of these adjustments later on at the end of the tutorial. But for this adjustment, we're only going to edit the overall section and the detail menu and the lighting at the bottom. Before we get started, I only want the adjustment to affect the flowers. Remember the mask we copied from the previous adjustment? We're about to use it. Click the masking icon between the adjustment name and the eye icon, then go to the hamburger menu below in the masking section and select paste mask. Now, we don't want this to affect the background, so we're going to invert it by clicking the icon between the eye icon and the hamburger menu in the masking section. This changes the mask on the flowers to white and the background to black, ensuring that the roses are the only things affected. Now let's go ahead and edit these settings. Go into the detail section and let's go ahead and edit the overall details. Overall small detail is 0.33. Overall small detail boost is 0.21. Overall medium detail is 0.19. 
overall medium detail boost is 0.23, overall large detail is 0.20, and overall large detail boost is 0.13. And for the last piece on sharpen, we're going to set it to 0.12. This allows the shadows and highlights to really pop in these flowers and brings out details in the folds that weren't visible before. So let's go ahead and go into the lighting to boost this just a little bit more. Go into the lighting section at the bottom and set the midtones to 0.19, shadows to 0.23, highlights to give it a little bit of boost to 0.26, black point to make it a little bit more dramatic to 0.26 and highlight to 0.32. These settings exaggerate the highlights and the shadows a bit more, but we lost a bit of the softness we were trying to keep in the photos. To fix this, go to the opacity setting and bring it to 0.61. These settings really allow the detail in the flowers to come through, but it still looks a little dark and I feel it could be a bit more ethereal so we're going to add the bloom adjustment. Go to adjustments and select bloom. After making this selection, it should automatically open the drop down menu upon application. We're going to edit these settings to put a little more brightness into the photo, but also give it more of an ethereal feel we're looking for in this photo. So go to strength and make it 0.39. Threshold is 0.26 and the bloom size is 0.54. With the addition of this adjustment, that completes this tutorial. But let me take a little time and explain to you what these adjustments are and what it is they exactly do. The first adjustment we used is impression. Impression is a very artistic adjustment. From delicate oil paint to rough sketches, impression allows you to control your brush size, the amount of paint applied, how messy or clean your strokes are, even your painting progress. So you can make your image look like a completed painting or like you just started putting paint on a canvas. This adjustment even gives you additional options to control the color and lighting of the painting, even add a texture of the canvas your image is placed on. Impression really gives you the freedom to explore your creativity and turn your photos into paintings in a snap. The second adjustment we used is precision detail. Precision detail hones in and brings out the fine details of your image, allowing you to adjust the amount of small, medium, and large detail. The adjustment goes a step further by separately controlling the detail within the highlights and the shadows independently, giving your image a more dramatic effect or toning down overpowering details in your image. The last and final adjustment we used is Bloom. The concept behind Bloom is to soften the lighting in an image. It gives you a little bit of ethereal soft lighting to soften a harsh light or further enhance an already delicate image. Well, that's all for today's top tip. Join me again next time to see what you can learn.